And welcome back everyone, David here. It's Monday, August the 24th They're at around 347 Eastern Standard Time. Let's do a temperature check. It is currently 89 degrees in the beautiful town of Munich, Michigan. And what a wonderful day it is. I'm the proud owner of Fred Sanford's Vintage Sewing Machine Gym. I just, uh, not only am I owner, I'm a proud member. I just finished my workout. I just went to go pick up some dog, and, dog food and cat food, which I did. And this happened. Twenty-eight pounds of dog food. Fourteen pounds of cat food. Harley and Felix is going to celebrate a birthday soon. All of you, many of you, know Miss Harley, the vintage sewing machine sniffing dog, now retired. She's under the, the bench right there, chilling, because she worked hard today. Although she's retired, we just went out for fun. You know, just to get some dog food and cat food. And uh, found a very special machine right here, right up in front. I already unloaded it. It's a domestic. Beautiful machine. It's a 153. Dash 51366. But it's a 153. I've never seen one of these before. It's a, I thought it was just a, a book, but it's a domestic sewing handbook. So that one's going to the showroom. I made a deal with that one, and the other two were parts machines, but this one's complete. Not only does this one complete, it came with a nice table, full of stuff, two bags. I could do a video on just these bags, but I probably will. I'm going to do a video on these, just these bags. And I'm going to try to put those bags right back. I remember how they came out of the drawer. I only did that so I wouldn't have a a truck full of pins and needles because everything was loose, loose. But in the bottom of the drawer, I found this. I'm keeping it a mystery. I shook it, listen, and I took a little peek and I went, <gasps> and that's all I did. We're gonna do a video on that, so make sure to watch out for this video. It's gonna be really exciting. I'm going to do a video on that and this. That all came in this table with this domestic, which is going into the showroom. I peeked in the drawer. I seen scissors, bobbins, bobbin case, lots of treasure. So I paid pretty good for that one. And then the other two... I kind of got a deal on them. They didn't give it to me for what I wanted, but better than the uh, asking price. I'm gonna go set this aside. I'll remember this sewing machine because there's a good story behind it. All those treasures, be sure to watch that video. I'm gonna post it soon. Go to Michigan, Munich, Michigan, or even anywhere in Michigan or surrounding states, and you got a lot of machines, and you're really willing to sell them. I'm, I am looking for parts machines. That's what I was hoping to find today. Never fails. That one went into the showroom. I I ain't sure about some of these other plastic ones. I got a couple of Kenmore machines. The 
feels a little rough. A one five eight thirteen forty. It's too nice. That's two in the showroom. One five eight thirteen forty. If anybody's interested in that, it was a little piece of material that had stitches on it, so it looked like it was previously used, and it looked really clean. It looked complete. Holy! Oh boy! Boat anchor. Gotta be. A one five eight three three zero is a tank. Why? It's beautiful. I was looking for a purse machine. would sell that locally. That's a tank. 158330. That thing was smooth. I, the tension assembly looked like it was all good. Complete. Montgomery War signature. UHDJ276D. Another nice one. How many was that? Four or five showroom? I haven't found a parts machine yet. This one's very, very light. Okay. Real rough. Stylus 6548. I don't think I have that one. starting to have a feeling that a lot of these machines came from the same person unfortunately or well fortunately for me what happens I think is uh, you know kids inherit stuff and other stuff just gets sent away but all those machines look like they were all well working machines This is a touch and sew 636, which was I found very unusual. I thought it was this one, but check it out. It might have been a different one. One of the machines came with both of these plugs. 
Is that too weird? I don't know what to do with this touching, so I just set it over here with all the other ones. They said this one didn't work. Bad motor, internal. A national 3000 parts machine. Bad motor. Yes! We got a parts machine, Miss Harley. Yay! JC Penny model 7050. I don't see many of these. Once again, it's all threaded. Smooth, smooth. Very light. Anybody local want to buy some? Help me out. I lost count. Usually I take the machines out of the table, but I didn't do it. It was like, I, I considered a parts machine when I bought it. Can we see it? It's a Kenmore. Missing a couple of parts. It has a broken light. It has bad wiring. So a lot of issues. Nice looking machine though. Just a foot pedal. Relax, Harley. All right, a couple more and I'll end this video. My other truck just arrived. Don't go in the street. We only went into town to take that truck in to get a rim changed and uh, get some dog food. But uh, I followed with my truck here. So we got a, uh, a Sears Kenmore. Oh. It's Mikey. And it's a 158-1753. Very dirty. Come on. Come on, Harley. Harley, come on, come on, Harley, Harley, all right, one more machine, oh. you gotta go visit, oh boy, If you join the Fred Sanford's gym, you'll learn to do sewing machine complete table squats. Ah, 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 just do 50 or 60 or whatever you can do. Ah, ah, 43, 44, 45. Okay, anyways. Memberships are still half off. Okay, and to end the video, we have a Singer model five seven. Hello, seven three four. Well, there you have it. I ended up with a bunch of nice machines. I did get one parts machine. I think the rest of these, boom, right to the showroom. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the next video. 
on those two bags. They came with that special machine for the showroom and that little purse, what's in it? Let's show it again. What's in it? I like funny. I like treasure hunting. Very last drawer on the very bottom. I was like, oh, and I shook it. Then I was like, oh, and I stuck it in my pocket. And I sat down, of course. Then I opened it and I went, oh. But I need to inspect it yet. I probably should stop shaking them. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Enjoy the day.